spoke to the building engineer and he said to go ahead and clean the machine so that's what we're going to do pretty much take this front panel move it out the way we need to access going to clean this out clean the evaporator clean out the water trough um, so number one what you want to do is you want to close this valve right here because we're going to need to dump this water out and we don't want this to refill because we have to fill it up with some uh, ice machine cleaner now <clears throat> if you read Follett's uh, maintenance steps it says that you can only use a Follett approved um, you can only use a Follett approved cleaner but I contacted Follett directly and they said to just use any ice machine cleaner that's available so I need both hands for this so we're going to take this panel off and we're going to remove this screw right here so we can pull this and Entire condensing unit base out towards us and uh, we'll get started. <laughs> Take that retaining bolt out and then you can pull this entire thing out. We actually don't need to do that yet. So we're going to start by, see right here, put the tube in the upright position, tube is used as drain during cleaning, well it's pretty smart, I like the way they did all that, so you just take it off of here, you bring it down here, and you're dumping all the water in your reservoir, the dirty ass reservoir, just dump that out, and it's actually dumping out the water in your evaporator as well. From here, just dump it out. See? Let me see. See what would happen is if this was open, number one, you'd lose water there, but you'd also be filling that up. So you need to have that valve closed. And anyways, that's how you dump the water. All right. Up because we're going to need to fill that evaporator with a uh, ice machine cleaner. All right, gents, so we got the uh, the um, mixture done. It says right here mix three ounces per gallon of water. So we got a gallon in here. I already put about three ounces. Oops, my bad. Make sure you wear gloves. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. Look at all this lime scale. I'm gonna have to break all that out, but let's just pour some just so y'all can see what it does to lime scale. Look at that. That is so cool. show you that <laughs> so the way Follett does the cleaning on these because you can't use this clean switch that's only for models that have I believe it's like a dump solenoid on the uh, in the water trough water reservoir whatever you want to call it so the way Follett does this is you dump the water right you have to shut off this valve dump the water right and then, then what you do is you have to fill up this water trough all the way up here, which is essentially the top end 
of your evaporator. This is your evaporator in here. So you're going to fill it up. The water's going to, I mean, the cleaner's going to go through the bottom, fill up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to leave it there for 20 minutes and then dump it. And what they recommend is that you run the auger. So you're going to turn on your power, your bin switch, but you're going to leave your compressor switch off so the compressor doesn't come on. And also, because you're going to run your auger, you're going to need to remove this um, this clamp right here, which is your discharge where your ice goes out. And you're going to have to remove this out the way so that you don't contaminate any cleaner that goes up. You can see that hose going back up and goes up, penetrates through, and then that's what comes out up here right there in the back so now they they recommend you do that because if you don't you're gonna have to clean the bin and you really don't have to that bin's pretty clean so so we're gonna get started so a little mixture here let me use this cup and just gonna fill this up You can see that water level going down. It's all going into the evaporator right now. It's all going down here. It's going to fill up the evaporator. So essentially, once this fills up, you're at level at the top of your evaporator. So now that this uh, evaporator is filled with this uh, chemical, we're going to give it about. 15 20 minutes according to fall lit so 10 30 so almost about i don't know 10 55 or so we'll call it but what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna clean out this guy right here now fall lit says oh, I'm gonna do this. um so the way fall lit designed this this is meant to be flimsy so you could break off all that scale they thought about that before, um, you know, while they're doing all the designing, I guess. And you can just do this. Just it on. This. You can hear that. <laughs> Some damn scale. So this one, I'm going to dump it inside that five gallon bucket with a cleaner. And then it just cleaned out. So, anyways. I'm going to dump it in some of that cleaner and do a little bit of, a little bit of beautifying here. All right, John, so it's been about 25, 30 minutes or so. So now we can dump the water from here and from here, which has cleaner, of course. So once again, just take the pipe, bring it down here, and start dumping it. You're empty. Put it back up where it goes through. Secure it. And we're going to fill this up again. So, as you can see, I already cleaned out most of this tray here. There's still a lot of crap in here. This one's dirty. Look at that. Start this I already removed most of this, most of this, most of that in there. Um, so. I'm not gonna lie, this little bit of water is not necessarily the best for really hard water stains or limestone, sorry. But it'll, it'll do some work. 
So anyways, we're not gonna make it pretty. Putting lipstick on a pig pretty much. And um uh, just gonna make sure it's all clean. Try to get some of that out as well. So let me refill that and we'll be good to go. Second uh second cleaning. It's going to be the end of the second cleaning, um, or rinsing, or sitting, or whatever you want to call it. I was able to get some more of this off, but man, this is really stuck on there. I'm scraping it. I'm scraping with the screwdriver. It's really stuck on there. So we're going to do as best we can while not taking forever because the customer's not going to want us to use it for eight hours. So, <clears throat> so while it's, while it's um, rinsing for a third time, which I'm about to do, um, I'll continue cleaning this outside make it look nice. Um, still going to take this guy off. It's got a lot of scale on it. So we'll clean that as well. Um, for the next 20 minutes, 25 minutes that the cleaner is going to be in here and then we'll uh, call it a day. So get it up and running. If it over ramps again, change the bearings. Alright, gents, and that is the end of our third um, wash, rinse, whatever you want to call it, soak cycle. So we're going to go ahead and Shut off the auger and I'm gonna go ahead and dump this. This is the third one. Let's see what I'm doing. Crap coming out, but there's some stuff coming out. Alright, so alright guys, so we just dumped all the uh, third washing solution and right now I'm just filling it up with water. Got the auger still going. Still here right now. And I'm rinsing out pretty much any chemicals just with the water. It's the way uh, Farlet wants it done, so we'll follow manufacturer specifications. <clears throat> oh, that one's still coming out. That's not bad. So we'll do this one more time. Put this up here. <laughs> I already did it about two or three times, but I'm trying to get this. And then once I rinse this out, I'll take this trough out, clean it out, including uh, this guy right here. So. Dump out the water. Alright, and so we got we got all those items soaking in some water with cleaner. When I come back, I'll take my uh, my Brillo pad and uh, scrub them all, keep them out of the way for now. And uh, I'm gonna head head over to the little boys' room, and then we'll be done. Just gotta scrub some of this off. And uh, do a little bit of cosmetic cleaning, but we're pretty much done. Like I said, if this thing over amps again, we're going to have to open this up and get the bearings out. Replace them. Pretty expensive bearings, too, to be honest with you. Bottom one and top one. This is part of the top bearing right here. So, we'll see what happens. Alright, gents. So, once you have your ice outlet, whatever you want to call this, there's your set screw. I found out it's easier if you just take this one off instead of all this. So my bad. 
just remove this guy and uh, you won't have to mess with this set screw or this one so but anyways uh, um, the instructions actually say to take this off and clean it which I just did but right, so this machine is put back together <clears throat> everything's working so make sure you can get the water back there my sensor is working um, so all I'm going to do now is wait until this machine starts making some ice and 